This is example 3.7 and we will answer the response of a mass spring system that is in resonance. We like to find the response at one quarter of a cycle, at two and a half cycles, and at five three quarter of a cycle. We have the weight of the mass, which is 100 newtons, and we have the constant of the spring, which is 2,000 newtons over meters. That allowed us to find the natural frequency, and they tell us that the system is in resonance. Therefore, we know that the force in frequency is equal to the natural frequency, which is 2,000 over 100 divided by the gravity and square root of that. The natural frequency gives us a value of 14.007 radians over second. Since we know that the system is in resonance, we know the shape of our response, which is equals to x0, which is the initial displacement, cosine of omega nt plus velocity over omega n times sine of omega nt plus static deflection times omega n t divided by 2 sine of omega n t. We have that initial conditions are equals to zero, so we end up only with a third term. So let's evaluate our response for quarter of a cycle. You know that complete cycle is 2 pi. Therefore, we know that omega nt will be 2 pi for a whole cycle. For a quarter of cycle will be that divided by So for here, we can find the time for a quarter of cycle. The time will be equals to pi over 2 omega n, and that will be equals to pi over 2 times 14.007. Time is equals to 0 0.011.21 seconds. And I plug this into my response, and I get the value of 0 0.0098 meters. In the second case, we like to find the response for two and a half cycles. That will mean 5 over 2 times 2 pi, that may give me 5 pi. For 5 pi, I will find the time, that will be 5 pi over omega n, and the time is equal to 1.112, 1, 1 second. I put that time into my response equation and I get that the response is zero meters. So for two and a half cycles, I am reaching the equilibrium position. And the last one we want to find is for five, three, fourth cycle. That means that this is 23 over four times two pi, which is one cycle, and that is 11.5 pi, so I can find my value for time for that to 11.5 pi, so the time will be 11.5 pi over omega n, and that gives me a value for the time equals to 2.5 If I plug that value of t into my response, I get a amplitude of negative 0 0.2259 meters. Now, let me graph this response and those three values. 
here you have the first value at 0 0.1121 seconds, the second value here, and the third value over here. This is a one-fourth cycle. The second is at two and a half cycles, which gives me a zero amplitude. And the third is a maximum value at five three-fourths cycles.